welcome to this Forrester Pro tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at just how quick and easy it is to export a Forrester Pro model to Talk 3D to use within their forest objects. And for this tutorial we'll use the Forrester Lite Pine Tree which is one of the free tree models, one of the free tree templates that's available with Forrester Lite, the unregistered version of the program. So here's our our pine tree model. Now if we want we could pose this model to get exactly the one we like but I'm quite happy with this model as it is so let's just export this model to Talk 3D. So we go to File and Export and it pops the Export menu and we have a number of different options that we can use here. The important one is just here at the bottom it's um, Export for Talk 3D you can see there's others. We can uh, choose to export our images a DDS, which can be somewhat better at loading. And we can change the scale of our model on export, allowing us to, before we export, change the size of the model. And down at the bottom here, we can change the prefix that's used for the material names, because Talk3D can allow us to use independent material names for each, for each model that we export to Talk3D. So we'll just press um, OK down here, um, and up pops the Talk 3D export options um, menu. You can see there's a number of things we can change in here. We can select what to export to the Talk 3D Collider file, the high resolution model, which is used when the model is close to the camera, the LOD 50, which is a lower resolution model, um, which can be swapped at a certain pixel size, screen pixel size. And then finally, down here at the bottom, we have the pixel size that's used to generate imposters or billboards and both LODs and billboards will greatly reduce the overheads and the improve the import performance of our model in Talk 3D allowing us to have a large number of trees on the screen at the same time. So we simply press OK and add a new directory into which the Forrester Pro files are going to be generated for Talk 3D. It really couldn't be easier to import our tree model into Talk 3D. So here's the export directory that we've just written. We've got all the files in here that we need. So there's the, the model file, which is in Collider format. And Forest Pro has also written a couple of Talk script files that contain the, the properties of the tree. And this will just make it easier to import that model as a forest object in Talk 3D and these properties should be appropriate for most tree models that we'll, we'll import into Talk. So we'll simply copy this directory and then go to the Talk file structure, open My Projects and then the project directory. If we go to Game and then Art and then Shapes and this is where we store all model files in Talk 3D and simply paste that directory um, immediately into that structure. And now we're ready to import our tree to Talk 3D. So we can go to the Talk 3D toolbox, which is down here, select the project that we wish to add the tree to, and the level that we wish to add the tree to, and go to the world editor. Now the wonderful thing about Talk 3D is it's recently been made open source so it's completely free and it has this very powerful world editor that allows us to create new levels within our games. So we're going to add our tree as a forest object and that will allow us to paint directly trees onto the landscape. And to do this we go to the forest editor which is up here on the menu and create a new tree mesh. So there's meshes here, uh, click on new and then select the tree model that we've just copied into the file structure. So there's the collider file and press OK. Now that's created a new brush automatically in the, in the forest editor so we can select that brush and then click it's imported the tree model and we can simply paint trees directly onto the landscape. And those trees are all slightly randomized, so their orientations and sizes are randomized. And you can see as I'm adding these trees that the more distant trees are being added as 
low-level LODs and the very distant ones as imposters. And this is going to mean that we can have many more trees on our level and it's going to run with relatively good performance. So if we go down and, and inspect our trees, we can see they look pretty reasonable already just with the default settings in, in Talk 3D. As well as forest objects, we can of course import as a as a simple object, as a static or a shape object. Uh, if we go uh, into meshes and go through the file structure to find uh, the directory in which we saved the tree model, select that tree model and it will appear as a static shape within Talk 3D. We can now select that shape with the shape editor, which allows us to inspect the model at quite high levels of detail. And one of the great things about the shape editor is that we can also inspect the LOD models um, up here under level. And there is a slider. Currently we're looking at the, this is the high resolution model. But we can select the LOD 50 model, which is a lower level of detail. So you can see the number of vertices has dropped down and the number of polys has dropped down. And then we can go and look at the imposters and the imposters are effectively billboards that are generated automatically by Talk 3D of our model from various different angles. So I hope you can see how really quick and easy it is to take tree models from Forrester Pro and import them directly into Talk 3D to use in your projects. You can download Forrester Pro from our website. There is a free version called Forrester Light that allows you to make an unlimited number of random trees of seven different tree types. Anyway, we hope that you find Forest Pro useful and that you use it to make some really great games and mods.